This is an ABC 10 News update. Hello there, I'm Virginia Chaw with this ABC 10 News update. The red flag warning had thousands of families waking up in the dark this morning after their power was preemptively shut off. And depending on the winds today, the power could stay off until tomorrow. While the power shutoffs are an inconvenience, Cal Fire officials are reminding everyone we are still in fire season. Just last week, the Willow Fire destroyed one home in Rancho San Diego and damaged several more. sdg &E has set up resource centers in Julian, Valley Center, and Descanso where you can get water, snacks, Wi-Fi, and charge your devices. Because of those possible power shutoff, schools in the Alpine, Warner Unified, and Valley Center Palma school districts are closed today. As more families in the East County face the possibility of power shutoffs because of the fire danger, Feeding San Diego is helping make sure they have some fresh food. They're increasing the amount of food in their mobile pantries that service Shelter, Valley, Julian, and Guate. Their mobile food pantry has been a lifeline for families in rural areas, especially during the pandemic, but also during natural disasters such as wildfires. They were there back in 2018 after the West Fire burned 36 homes and led to power outages that left families without food. Today, Feeding San Diego will have extra food at the Shelter Valley Mobile Pantry and Julian. They will have it in Guate tomorrow. Megan Perry is here to talk about the Santa Ana conditions out there and what we can expect going forward. Megan. Yeah, that's right, Virginia. We're under that red flag warning until 10 o'clock tonight. We've already seen wind gusts exceed 70 miles per hour, and one last night actually exceeded 80 miles per hour. Today, I think most of the gust range will be in the 30 to 50 mile per hour range with a few isolated gusts higher than that. Strongest winds hitting through the morning and then becoming more localized as we transition into the afternoon and evening. Humidity hovering around 10% and near record low fuel moisture leading to critical fire danger. And with those strong winds, any new fires that spark will be able to spread quickly. So just do your part to be extra fire safe. It was warm this morning. It's going to be warm this afternoon. 70s at the coast, 80s inland, still chilly in the mountains in the 50s with 70s also in the deserts. Virginia. Thank you, Megan. For the latest news, weather and traffic, just go to 10news.com or you can download our free app from your app store. For ABC 10 News, I'm Virginia Shaw.